Hi babies and welcome to the Revolution channel, my name is Carmi MUA and in today's video we are gonna have a close look of the brand new two primers that Revolution has just launched. We are gonna have a look at uh, how they feel on the skin as well as reading you some information and of course a little bit of a demonstration. I did not mean to do that but it happened and I'm happy with it. So let's have a look straight away at the first one so our first contendant today there it is the onyx primer now one thing to know about the onyx primer is that it's so unique and it has a black gel liquid that becomes sheer to application and the key benefit to this one over here is specifically um, blurring uh, like imperfection so if you do have fine lines or just a little bit of open pores and everything this bad boy over here is gonna be absolutely stunning as you can see also comes in a pipette so very quick and easy to actually apply uh, one thing that i've experienced by using it a few times is that a little bit goes a long way so you pretty much just want to do like an incy bincy drop but nothing too crazy and you can just like massage it in and make sure it's all beautifully done and let me tell you this bad boy looks absolutely beautiful so don't feel afraid um it will not show onto your makeup like it's not gonna turn your makeup black <laughs> just in case because the first time i saw just like is this something for halloween and uh, no it is not it's something for like your everyday use and let me tell you it works and when it works we're happy up in here and the other primer that i want to talk to you about and the one that i'm going to demo today is the star primer is this beautiful aquamarine that let me tell you i am digging this like i not even on purpose done my backdrop like it's back here to kind of match it you know like i'm living for this color so let me tell you what this primer is all about so the revolution star primer is an aquamarine water-based primer enriched with a unique anise aroma now the key benefit it is actually uh, a Mexican anise extract that neutralize the redness is high in percentage in water and I'm talking about 70% of water and of course it does combat dehydration so if your skin is like me that now really really needs a good old moisture this primer is literally bay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just take a little bit on my um, hands up in here so you can see the actual color and the smell, like I remember the first time I actually smelled it, I was like, this is like Italian candies and it is, if you are Italian, now let me tell you, you probably know, especially if you're like my age or older, so we're talking about close to 30 up, <laughs> um, you know the candies that they're called um, the Aniche, like the Aniche sweets, they're like kind of like clear and they come in like that bubble, like the bubble wrap, but they come in the wrapping. <gasps> This smell like that, like it is infused with um, anise, so it is anise in Italian, but it was so weird because I've never experienced like a primer that kind of brings me back to memory and it gives me like, like my grandmother time when I used to like go on a Sunday and have like food at hers, like, you know, like lunch with your fam. It smells so good. Like I know that sounds so weird, but you know, some people, they really get into like that smell and perfumes and everything. And this reminds me of Naples. I know that sounds silly. I know uh, it's completely off topic, but this reminds me of like when I used to be a kid and uh, you know, there is nothing wrong to be reminded of when we were youthful, <laughs> but we always are, you know, I always feel like if you're feeling young inside, you are always gonna be young. So um, after we put this primer on, I can definitely tell you that it feels very, very soft. Um, it does not feel sticky. Uh, it does not feel tacky. So if you're somebody that doesn't like the feel of stickiness, this primer really does not do that. Also, one thing that I do want to mention, both of them are vegan and cruelty-free. So definitely a good thumbs up if some of you babies prefer a vegan um, and cruelty-free um, primer. So, so far looking good so what i'm going to do very quickly and i'm going to show you what i'm doing as well i'm going to take my revolution conceal and define foundation now i have now uh, discovered a new shade for myself and it is the 10.2 it's literally my perfect match you will see it i'm not even needing to blend it too much on down my neck because it's just going to look perfect and then i'm going to go in with some conceal and define and today i want to look a little bit brighter because you know 
I done a something something makeup look that is gonna be on uh, um, Instagram, you know, so you make sure you follow Revolution on Instagram or even myself I will definitely put it up because uh, let me tell you I was trying this Revolution product well more than trying I was just like living my best life with those products and uh, yeah I'm really really happy with the outcome so what I'm doing I'm gonna just like take my foundation finish it off with like my priming and everything and let you know how I feel about it I'm starting to blending this foundation and concealer and I can definitely tell you that I'm always going to be somebody that is going to tell you to get a good primer because it really makes like your life so much easier to blending like sometimes I feel like especially like with um, dry skin like foundation can kind of look a little bit like flaky or anything and sometimes it kind of like dries in some patches using primers like the star primer that actually helps with the hydration it really doesn't make your skin like flake or anything and also you guys know I tend to shave now pretty much like on a daily every time I um like put foundation on my makeup on and that also uh, makes like my skin even drier or even more irritating so uh, irritating irritate irritatable um so using actually a primer really really helps um like helps completely so definitely loving this and you can see one two foundation is completely blended so i'm going to finish this side with you and just to show you how everything is gonna look so here we be so this is our look of the day the skin is nice and beat but as well is like very very soft after like my powder I did finish off with a little bit of contouring a super soft eyeliner because uh, <laughs> I got a pimple up in here and um, it's the day before my birthday I really did not want to have this pimple, but it is what it is and is okay. A little bit of gloss. I do feel like the eyes are still in the show, so I wanted to kind of like make everything a little bit softer today. But uh, what I do like about my skin is that it looks like skin, like it feels nice, it looks lovely, it looks glowy. And yes, I definitely give this product a good thumbs up. I'm definitely gonna check it out more and of course show it in the next upcoming videos. So please let me know down in the comments below which primer do you feel you need? Are you gonna grab them both? Is it one that kind of like screams your heart? Do you prefer more blurring primer? Do you prefer more hydrating primer? Keep a conversation going down there and uh, yes, have a rest of a great of a day because uh, there is nothing better than be happy in life and I want you guys to always always be happy and uh, always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome